and a rope. You see, I tied up a rope like that to a spinning pot. If I want to hold it like this, it's false. You see, false again. But what if I grab it and spin it? Why does it stay in place? Why it doesn't fall? Do it. Alright, first we're gonna put empty bottle in this container. You can see the bottle in this container. And then we're gonna grab our baby oil and take it out, put it in a glass a little bit. Let's see, because it's gonna take up a lot of space as you can see you can still see see the bottle right so now we're gonna put baby oil inside the bottle see what happens check this out the bottle just disappears also squeeze it and suck it in like that yeah, too fast Okay, check it out. Perfectly yolk egg without any white stuff. So first thing you're gonna do is take off this stain, metal part. You don't have to, but I'm gonna do it for you so you can see really well. And then the pan, I took it out. You see, you pull this thing out. So, and then you just like stick it into it and even blow. Blow to like you see how black it is now? All in this stuff. Let's see how, how it's done. You see what happens? And of course you can regulate it to make it better, you see? It takes a lot of practice to actually start to be able to do a good one. But yeah. You can make bigger fire, smaller fire. You see how it works? That's pretty much it. That's the secret right here, Tom. Damn, that looks like it's about to blow. Woo! Grab your knife and take the isolations off. Do not cut yourself. So once you took your isolation off on one side, do it on the other side. Then you want to get your paper clip and twist it around like that. But you want a big one paper clip like this and like that. Already, I already made two big ones. So you want a big one, I don't have any more big ones, so I showed you how to do it with a small one. Then you want to put your paper clip like this, get some electric tape and tape it up. Then get another paper clip, put it next to the circles and tape it up. So you see they are on the same level and stuff. Right, then we're gonna get our wire, make sure these two lines are straight and Put it to the this hole set here. You see how it is? Then we're gonna get our magnet and put it under. Now find the center gravity and it's gonna start spinning real fast. Put and we're gonna get our dry ice and chop up a bunch of little pieces. It's not too hard. And then fill it up in this small cup. Looks like we're gonna need some more. Then we're gonna get our alcohol and pour it into the dry ice. Be careful, adult supervision. I'm gonna get my knife to mix it up a little bit. Alright, as you can see, normal flour over here, you see? I'm gonna stick it in the for not too long. You see? Tape them up together. 
you're gonna have to do all of them like that make sure they are attached all right next we're gonna cut the paper we just need a small piece of it that's tall enough then we're gonna get our two alligator wire each other not too far away something like that and then we're gonna get the pencil lid and hook it up between these two alligator wires like that then we're gonna put a jar over it and then we're gonna grab our other ends and plug it into the end of the battery but first I'm gonna turn off the light and then plug it in and we got our light bulb and it's a square and I got another piece of paper square but it's cut off like this in pieces and if I'm gonna lay it on top of the white square it's gonna fit it's gonna fit already in right you see two similar squares no takes so as you can see there is no way to fit any other space any other squares but what if we gonna rotate this piece like this and then same thing we're gonna rotate this piece right here I did a little bit too many spins got confused for a second I'm gonna rotate this pin right here piece right here and the last piece I'm gonna rotate over here and check it out the white is still fits the white square doesn't stick out anywhere but the magic is we got this one more small square how is that possible? let's set it one more time check it out and it all fits without any square without any spaces sticking out in any sizes how is that possible guys? 